tonight I have my partner in crime, Lazy Man. This is Lazy Man. We are washing the tractor tonight. I have Blaze's favorite treat, a bone. Blaze is going to show you some of her tricks. First, Blaze is going to catch this, okay? Ready, Blaze? Okay, she, did. she didn't catch it, but we're going to do it again, okay? Okay. So she didn't catch it again. I promise you she normally catches. Now this is going to be embarrassing if she doesn't. Oh my lord. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Mustard made a mistake. I was out here last night, loading my truck, got it loaded, parked it, and then I was gonna load the overhead bin so it was full for the next day. I had the gate open a little too much, thought it was going okay. I know something was going on, but by the time I got here to get stuff shut off, got this conveyor plugged. We did plug it the very first time because we weren't sure how much we could run the unloads. Now I know, and now I really know exactly where I needed to run them. So hopefully this doesn't happen again after this. It is what it is. The good thing is I'm really glad we designed this the way we, it is. So I can get a loader under here in case this does plug. There's a shield on the bottom. I'm just gonna unscrew that. Let the corn dump into the bucket. Scoop out what else I can, kind of relieve it, and then see if it starts up. It should, so. Got it cleared out for the most part. This right here was just completely full of grain. Got that emptied out. I want to leave that open. Kick it on quick and let it relieve itself. And see what happens. It's running. Let's go see what happened outside. This right here is another main reason we put this second single pit in. The grates are actually a little wider, so if you clean up spills from outside and you dump it in the pit, it's a lot handier on this side versus that one over there. You see the corn? Oh yeah, let me back up, back up, back up, Dylan. And I'll have a little bit to broom, but as you can see, Dump it right into the pit and circulate it back into the overhead bin. Not sure if we've shown you guys this yet, but we actually put manual switches for each of the pits. Got one here for this one over here and another switch on that wall right there so we can start the pits from out here. So when you pull them with the truck, the legs and everything's already running, just come out, start the pit, and you're good to go. Just like this. like everything's running okay so just kind of let it run slowly and keep my eye on it and make sure nothing crazy happens It'd be interested to see if people don't realize that this happened until after the video is posted and then they see it on the video I, don't know, I just think that'd be funny good morning everybody how we doing 
Got the 9620RX in the shop. It's already been washed once. We'll go through, wash it again in between the tracks. Look at this. Now, if you were a rat, this would look like a very habitable place. Check this out. This is underneath the steps where the batteries are. If you were a rat, would you say, that looks like a very cozy home? Yeah, I would too. We're gonna get that cleaned out. And there he is. What's going on today, Badger? Well, today is December 8th. It's a pretty nice day out. It's not windy. Sunny out. Anytime the sun's shining, the wind's not blowing, it could be zero degrees out. I'll tell you what though, Monday was cold. Gotta clean up a few brackets, side panels on the quad hog. And we're gonna kind of put it temporarily away. It'll have to come back in the shop for a complete service and cab cleaning and all that good fun stuff. And we wanna put this frame on here. Yep, they saw, the box. they saw it in the last video. Yes. So while we're talking about this, let's go look at something just quick here. Come on, please. Badger took that load to Gervage and steel prices pretty good as they should be because new steel is good. So scrap steel should be good, right? It's ridiculously priced. So if you're in the buying market, that's too bad. If you're in the selling market, well, it's a little better, but we're kind of in both. So we'll explain on that maybe later. We're 28 and a quarter. So remember that, 28 and a quarter, you know, about 66 inches. Time we get out here and the hood comes down, we'll engineer that, you know? Might not have to take as much off as you think, because we could be in, we could slide in past there. It'll be interesting, it'll be a fun project. So we gotta be like 36 inches, so. Jeez. We're gonna end up dismantling that bracket. Yep. But you know what, I mean, what else are we gonna use it for? That's right. We're hoping the weather gets up to 50 here the next day or two. We gotta finish them combines because it's supposed to snow this week. Somebody say. I always tell everybody it gets around Devin's, AKA Mustard's birthday, the 10th. Always seems like the weather, just something about the 10th of December. People draw a line in the sand or make a mark on the concrete. That's when the weather's gonna start getting weird. Oh, we gotta put the axles on the hay trailer. Yeah. We did some extra measuring this morning. Not good. Knock on wood, but that project might go really smooth. Everything measures up almost perfect. Anyway, we're gonna go look at something quick at a neighbor's place and- We'll video it, but it won't be in the video maybe till later in the video, if that makes sense. That makes completely no sense at all. Oh, by the way, last video. If you guessed 13, you'd be correct. Let's just give a quick story on Dixie and Blaze here. So Dixie here, which is my dog, and Blaze, which stays here at the house with my mother, AKA his grandma. We had Dixie since about 2008, obviously, born in 2008. Actually got her right at the beginning of 2009, but she was born November 8th, 2008. Two years later, a friend of mine brought Blaze to us and said, hey, uh, this dog's looking for a home, and at the time, I didn't know if my parents wanted to have a dog here, because, you know, they just were doing kind of good without a dog, but we brought the dog here, and that dog and my dad just bonded like best friends, and uh, we kept the dog, and we've had her for 11 years, and the guy told me she was two years old when we got her, so that's the story of Dixie and Blaze, Blaze and Dixie. Okay, here it is. This is like real quick video. I'm not gonna explain much. You see what it is? Okay, moving That's on. That's it? That's it, moving on. Goofball. Ball. Go do something outside for a little bit. Claustrophobic. We're gonna change the name from the real garage now to the tire garage. The tire shed. Oh yeah. 
eight. Five here, 13. Red Dawn Freightliner, 22 fives. We need one more of these, which we have a rim down there. And we get the Donald drivers on there, as a Goodyear guy calls them. <laughs> Named them after my, my dad, Donald drivers. The rest of these here just need to have the tires taken off, get the rims polished up, and then get new tires on. Go take the quad down to dad's place, park it inside. We're gonna pull the hay trailer in. Maybe get started on that today. John Deere. These little shields here on the sides. See this, this first one here is okay. It's got a little quick catch on it. Easy to get in, it's got a magnet. But that back one, are we not supposed to remove that one? Because that thing was a pain in to get back in. It's got four bolts. And it's got these little rubber bushings that are supposed to go on there. Probably took 30 minutes. Come on, dear. Get it together. Still love you though. impossible to clean tracks she looks pretty mean in there ready to go we'll have to bring the 9620 and the 8520 back up to the shop at some point we got to put the rock box on the 9620 and the 8520 we gotta get these lights fixed this bezel is falling apart one light busted out I get that pile cleaned up all this cleaned up Get all that stuff moved back over here. Go down, get the hay trailer, get it hooked up, get it pulled in here so we can maybe start working on it. What you think, Dixie? How you doing? Just keeping it real. Blaze, comfortable as can be. Some nice itchy insulation. You betcha. You betcha. All right, we got it up here. Let's get the shop cleaned up. I just realized the 7800 is not here, so I'm just gonna have to pile everything into a pile and we'll have to get it later. Oh, buddy, I cannot wait to get you operational again. What's up? Mustard. Just got the overhead filled up for this guy. Thanks. I'm gonna dive into this and see what we can't get done. Would you believe that the only thing holding these axles on is one little bolt there, one bolt there, that, that just little curl rests in. Four bolts per axle, that's all that holds it in. You're pulling like almost 16,000 pounds on this trailer and you're telling me eight total bolts are holding these axles on, four per axle. Not even that big of bolts either. Amazing. Do not enjoy this part of the day. on there to wash. Gotta get that one down there washed up. Hopefully we'll get it for uh, snows here and get these put away. It's that dirty, dirty grime that gets in there and after you wash it and it dries, then you can see and you go back and hit the spot. Get these uh, machines looking spotless, ready to go for 2022. See you in the funnies.